Okay, so this is Plasma Big Screen on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this is a 4 gig model and I've overclocked to 2 gigahertz uh, to just improve performance a bit, but it's actually pretty snappy. So if I move around using my cursor keys, you can see that it, it feels like quite a fast smart TV. And it's really like uh, something you'd get on an Amazon Fire Stick or something like that with, with uh, more TV related really uh, and less like an operating system, like a desktop operating system. Um, there are, I did change the wallpaper. The wallpaper um, you can change on here, but I changed it before and then I couldn't get it to boot after that. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave it on the setting it's on, which is where it automatically changes itself. Uh, Wi-Fi works fine, uh, but I was using it on ethernet. Uh, you can see there's a few games that are installed, uh, Tux Racer, Tron and Blocks. I'll go back to that in a minute. Uh, there's a web browser in the way of Firefox, and there was another basic web browser. Yeah, this Falcon. Uh, there's file management as well. So Dolphin gives you, uh, it's quite actually quite, quite snappy, quite fast. Everything works as it should. Uh, one thing I find is that closing down apps is not at all obvious. Uh, so if I drag down, uh, it works on this that you then get an X. But, uh, but on other apps, some other apps just stay on the screen. And this is definitely a beta. I have a, I've had quite a lot of crashes, but I really like the direction it's going in. And if they can somehow manage to get, obviously there's a YouTube app, if they can somehow manage to get things like Netflix and Amazon Prime and, and uh, regional apps uh, for, uh, like, like I'm in the UK, I'd like to see iPlayer and things like that on there. Uh, and I think they can manage that. Uh, and then it really would be something that people would start to use. Uh, as I say, at the moment it's early days, it's a beta version on the Pi, but I really like what I see. So a couple of buttons that are worth knowing about. So if I go back into that Dolphin, so just open that up. Uh, if I press F6, that goes back to the desktop. Uh, and if I press F5, you can do a search. So if you're looking for a particular app, and the one thing I wanted to change, it, re it really needs a bit more polish. Uh, so if I, again, it's a beta, so, so let's not be harsh on it. But if I'm on this screen and I wanna close down this app, uh, so in the case of this app, as I say, I can pull down uh, and it, oh, I can pull down and it will, it will reveal that. But that, if that only worked with all the apps, that'd be great. So I would like one that showed all the open apps because there doesn't seem to be a way of showing what's, what's there. But I did find if I, let's just, uh, well, let's do the F5 trick. Uh, and then if you type in corner, see it says screen edge corner, you can actually configure what the corners of the screen do. Now the top corner here at the moment, you can see it does something and that's, so when you hover over it, you see something happen with this. Let's try that again. So hover over it. No, hover doesn't seem to do anything. If I press it, it still doesn't seem to do anything. So let's go back uh, to F5 and type in corner and then pull up. This is like a configuration. Now these are hot corners and I've used this on other operating systems. Uh, and so basically, if you go into the corner, you can you can make it do different things. Now, on here, I see it says switch, switch desktop on edge, disabled. So I think I'm going to enable that. Only, always enabled. Only when moving windows, always enabled. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. We're not getting anything, are we? So let's go back in and let's see what else we can do. So let's try this corner. So show desktop. So this corner says, present windows, all desktops. Toggle window switching. Let's try that. Oh, so that did what the app was. Right in the corner maybe. Okay, so the corners thing, Whatever I, whatever I set it to, it didn't seem to, to do what I wanted it to do. Let's just try that again. Maximize windows drag to top edge. Windows drag to left or right edge. So, oh, 
Oh, I didn't realize it did that. Okay, that might help. So maximize, right, okay. So if you drag in left or right, it minimizes. If you drag up, it maximizes. Okay, that might help me. And I wonder if, because I've definitely found with other apps that it's not, it, it didn't seem to do things, but I'm gonna try that on a few more apps. I'm gonna go with application launcher just to see if that works. I wonder what happens there. Right, so it's definitely not if you don't press anything. And if you press something, that might have done it because I was, right, let's do that. Don't know. Don't know what that's doing. So uh, I have now got pull in to minimize and pull up to maximize. I quite like that. So we've got two apps here. Pull in. So there's the apps, but these are obviously in the way, aren't they? But if I was to click on YouTube, is that opening up? Yeah, that's opening up. So let's drag in. Yeah, so YouTube doesn't drag in, it does something different now. So it's a bit inconsistent on different things. Drag up, drag in. Yeah, and here we have settings. Um, and I did see there's a hints thing here, but it doesn't seem to do any, oh, it does do something. Okay, so before it wasn't doing anything, so this is Mycroft, which is uh, speech control. I did try and get the speech control to work. I've got a little USB sound card, uh, which the operating system did recognize. I could select it as microphone input, so I plugged a little microphone into it, but I didn't know if there was a hotkey to start it off, so I couldn't actually get it to do anything. Um, but if there is a smart key, or if anybody finds a list of useful keyboard shortcuts. I couldn't find anything looking through the website and the documentation. Yeah, this is more to do with the speech control. See if that does anything on that. No, that doesn't do anything. So drag in on that. You see what I mean? It's inconsistent uh, in, in various different apps. So now I have to go back to F6. Maybe this is a different experience on a remote control. I see they recommend on their website a remote control to move around. But uh, it'd be nice if it, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to use this with a keyboard because they'll have one already. But I do like it. I'm not complaining. It's, uh, it, as I say, it is a beta and uh, it's in its early stages. So what I figured I'd do is uh, I'd install a few things. So we go to the console. So sudo apt get install synaptic, which is a package manager because I figured it would be an easier way of installing apps onto it. So uh, let's try the dragon in. No, see the dragging in just isn't, well now I've got a keyboard. Uh, so that doesn't work, so let's go, well I, I suppose I can do exit on here. And if I wanted to say I drag that down, see that, drag that down, that doesn't, doesn't help me. I can't, I can't actually get rid of that or I don't know a way of getting rid of that. So if anybody does know a way of getting rid of that, that'd be great. But it is still an open app, so obviously the more things I open up, certain things I can't close down. So I've just installed the file manager, which will show up somewhere. There it is. For some reason it comes up with two, uh, but I've done this before and this is what happens and it never seems to get anywhere. So drag down, drag left, <laughs> drag right. Okay, so uh, F6. Ah, so now I've got a situation where I can't quit out of it. Oh, no. well, it lets me get that, but it doesn't... I don't know if it will let me... So what I would do is uninstall it. So let's see if I can get the terminal up. Maybe... Oh, so now it's giving me a desktop. Right, okay, that's great. That's what we want. So let's uninstall that uh, package manager with sudo apt get remove synaptic and then you put your password in. Your password is always mycroft and I keep putting in mycraft. There you go and we'll say yes. There you go, so that's uninstalled. So let's install something interesting. Gravity Wars. Haven't tried this one yet. Okay, and while I'm at it, I'll do Xmoto. 
So that's now installed uh, those two apps. So let's do reboot. Uh, we don't have to, but I feel I've got so many apps open and I don't know which ones I can close. Uh, so I'm going to try that. Okay, we're back in. So uh, before I forget to mention, and you can see at the top it says it's getting ready, doing some sort of updates. Uh, that sometimes goes for, for quite a long time. Uh, I wanted to mention on the initial setup, it, it makes you go through the steps of doing the voice setup and it, the voice feedback is comical. It does sound like some sort of sci-fi voice from the 80s. You can register me by going to devices, selecting add device, then use the code. So let's have a look for these apps that I've installed. So uh, both of them have been games. Yeah, so Gravity Wars is showing up and Xmoto is showing up. So let's try Gravity Wars. This is the background I would keep. I quite like this, this background. Um, but uh, as I say, when I changed it to stay on this, I couldn't get it to reboot. So change the background at your peril. I don't know why YouTube's, oh, I must have started up YouTube while I was, uh, while I was starting that app. Well, let's, let's not worry about that. So, and this game runs really nicely. You've got to get all the keys and the fruits and stuff. I think there's a shoot button, but I don't know which one it is. But it's, it's a simple but enjoyable game. And I've got it. I've covered it in one of my other videos and how to install it into Raspbian. But I just wanted to see uh, how easy it was to install things into this. As I say, I'd rather a, a package manager with a with an interface. Is it running all right with? I don't know what, what's black in the back. Why it's black in the back? Oh, it's doing the YouTube bit still. Oh, and that slowed down then. So anyway, I won't I won't um, play any more of this game. Let's just. I couldn't see a way of maximizing. See, it said drag up, didn't it, to maximize? But it's only got minimize, so it, it only plays at this size. So let's close that. Close that down. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to close. Yeah, so I can't quit that out. I wonder if I can. So again, I don't know how to quit the YouTube one. That dragging in doesn't work, and that dragging in doesn't work. So I'm going to reboot again, I think, because I've all, and now I've got a game. Well, let's press F6. Well, let's try. Oh, I'll try Xmoto before we do that, I guess, and see if see if it can handle both running at the same time. Unless it does put it in the background, like a like a mobile operating system does. Oh, and it disappeared. And this might be because I've accidentally started up YouTube. So. Let's not worry too much about that. That was like it quit out, wasn't it? Got a bit of a crackly sound. <laughs> I can't turn off the music. Right, I'm going to quit the game. Oh, so this... Right, and then... Actually, let's go back in. And let's close down Gravity Wars. And it's still not letting me do it. And now I've got that music playing and I've quit the game. Okay, I'm going for another reboot. Okay, so I've got rid of that music now. We're back and running. Oh, so Xmoto has, has rebooted. Uh, so it looks like a reboot. Maybe I need to do a shutdown and I have got a command for shutdown. Um, but there is no... There is no sound now, so let's go with that and play. So actually, there may still be things running in the background. Ooh. But this is a this is a great game, and again, I've covered this in another another one of my videos on on Raspbian, I think it was. And I found it on the Synaptic File Manager, which is the one I was trying to install on this OS, but haven't managed to get it. If anybody else knows of another package manager that does work on this, I'd appreciate it. It'd be interesting to see. But yeah, very enjoyable game. And works fine. But again, only has this uh, minimal screen, nothing else. Oh, that's not going to go well. There is a little map in the left-hand corner that you can use to show you where you're going. So let's quit that. And I'm out of that now, but things are still running. 
So what I'll do as well is show you what, how, I found, how I found to shut this down uh, and that will kill all the apps, I'm guessing. So launch the console. You see that gravity, uh, it, was still, it was still running because it had a little icon flashing by it. So this is the way I found of shutting down. sudo shutdown dash h now. And then again, the password is mycroft. So definitely the name is interesting, Plasma Big Screen, uh, because obviously Plasma's just gone now. Plasma just isn't available in the market. Uh, and so it kind of dates the system, but then it is a memorable name. So I don't know if it's necessarily a bad name. Uh, and obviously it, it, it gives people the idea that it's a TV based operating system. So what else have we got in here? Um, I think other people have probably covered the games that come installed on it. Let's go for the web browser and see how that performs. And we have a YouTube app, so I won't bother doing YouTube in the web browser. So let's go BBC. And less people will probably be using this um, for a web browser, um, but obviously it's handy to have it there um, because they'll be using a TV remote control. Yeah, so the scrolling is reasonable, reasonably responsive. BBC News, let's open another tab and do Hot UK Deals. Let's just see if it does it under that. Yeah, it's not not bad. Certainly not as fast as something like the, the browser in Raspbian uh, or Ubuntu or Ubuntu or anything like that. Although it seems to be starting up a bit better now. I have just restarted, so it could have been doing some updates. Yeah, reasonable. Um, but again, I don't think it's the focus for this system. So no... You can see there's no close down bit here. Uh, and again, these hotkeys don't seem to do anything. So let's drag down. So that works. That's obviously the, in the intention of how it works. And then drag in from the left or the right. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, so a lot of inconsistencies with how um, the, the windows go. And uh, that's something that needs a bit of work, but again, it's a beta, so that's understandable. And I think this moves around quite nicely. You can see I'm moving up and down, left and right, and you see it is pretty snappy uh, when you use, so this will be when you're using it with a remote control. Uh, and there is a remote control you can order um, to be able to do the voice control. I'm not really so worried about that. Um, I'm wondering, a new voice control, I think voice control systems need a lot of time to mature before they're usable. And a voice control system is, is inconsistent you just stop using it so things like Alexa and Google Assistant are great so let's do YouTube so if I move around with the title again with the cursors because this is more how this operating system is meant to be used rather than a mouse and keyboard you can see that oh you can see that it's pretty quick so what can we put on? Something like this will probably look quite nice. Hi everyone, Matt Watson here. So I've got another awesome car I drag race for you today. I'm sat in a Lexus RCF track edition. Next to me is a BMW M4. Next to that is a Mercedes. So let's try the keys to see. No, the keys don't take you any further into the video. So let's let's go in and try and get a bit of movement. Over 1800 V8 with 420 horsepower and. Let's have a listen to the C63. That looks pretty UK. good. I think that's probably performing all right. The audio seems to be synced fine. Oh, sounds like the Space doesn't pause, which is unusual for YouTube. Let's have a listen to the old C63. So you've got to press, I mean, there might be some other keys. Again, the, the lack of, really, I would, I would like to see hotkeys all over the place. Or, I mean, maybe this is different if you've got a remote control. Uh, it, it might be different, but it would just because a lot of people are just be using this with a mouse and keyboard at the moment. It might be handy to have a list of the hotkeys shown. So if I drag down, doesn't do anything. If I drag left or right, uh, well, again, that gives me the settings. So, oh, and dragging on that. Oh, you can also do all of this by. So if I go back to. Yeah, so if right I press there, right arrow, you get that brain. menu up of different other different videos you can pull up. Hit return. Play. Well, that start. Play. 
Let me give you an example. A Land Rover Defender. So if I go left, you can see the video carries on playing, but I can search for another video. Playing. This will probably be good for showing motion. Tap. See if I can skip in a bit. Press escape, press back. Yeah, again, I don't know how to pause it, don't know how to get out of it. So what I would probably do is press F6 and that would get me back to that menu. But then that YouTube app is still open and using resources. So a lot of work needs to be done, but it is a beta. Uh, but I really like the direction it's going in. For the UK, if you get something like Freeview Play on there, that would give you, uh, or Freeview Play support would give you loads of the free apps. Uh, so things like BBC iPlayer, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, um, various different other ones. Things like Netflix would be a good show in because Netflix seems to be happy to go on every system. Uh, and then once you get Netflix, maybe you're then looking at things like Amazon Prime and Now TV and, uh, and various things. Obviously, I'm talking very UK centric because I am from the UK, but, um, you know, translate that to your own uh, system in your country because people aren't going to use much of it if they haven't got those TV apps. But again, it's a beta, so you can excuse it. So I like it. Uh, it's certainly going in the right direction. I'll definitely do more videos on this in the future as updates come through uh, and, uh, and new video apps become available. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.